I have uh, put together this video to summarize my experience with anterior medial portal ACL reconstruction. Uh, first, I want to go over the landmarks. This is post-notch plasty. You can see referencing the PCL uh, to the right uh, in this right knee, uh, the anterior horn of the lateral meniscus where our tibial tunnel should go. And again, I want you to look at the side of the femur here. You've got the residence ridge, which is clearly evident here in the front. You've got Blumid stats line on top. Uh, even though the notch plast has been done, you can see these reference points. And between these two lines is where that ACL lives. So again, below Blumenstadt's stats line uh, and behind residence ridge. And you want to be in the anatomic position, which right about 9, 30, 10 o'clock on the dial, this little red spot on the femur pretty clearly is right about where we want to start. And again, my starting point is typically right behind residence ridge. Uh, I may do the drilling a little bit differently, which I'm going to show, which will allow us to clearly place this tunnel where it should be. Um, so again, entry portal with an awl. Uh, the next step is going to be, again, to flex the knee. So we're flexing the knee up to about 90 degrees, maybe a little bit more depending on our angle, uh, and bring the guide pin up. You can see our reference points change in the flex position, so you really clearly have to demarcate the entry point ahead of time with the awl. So we're taking the uh, typical beef pin, uh, drilling it out the lateral side, and then I come behind this with a 4.5 a cannulated reamer. Now I'm going to take this reamer all the way through the cortex on the outside. As I go, I'm using the 4.5 to really measure the depth of my tunnel. Uh, for the fixation device I like to use, I need at least 32 to 33 millimeters in length to be comfortable. Uh, at this point you can see, uh, and you can see with the knee flexed to 90 degrees. You may have to clear the debris from time to time, but all I'm trying to see is the numbers, and all you need to see in this technique is the numbers. Clearly, I have at least 40, so no problem there. The next step uh, I want to show you, I've got the guide pin, and I want to show you what we can do next. I'm going to use a 6.5. I'm going to use progressive asymmetric drilling. So, as you can see in this picture, I can take that guide pin and I can lay it across the posterior aspect of this 4.5 tunnel and I can move the pin to the anterior aspect of that tunnel so I can asymmetrically ream this tunnel to guide the, the femoral tunnel placement. Uh, in this particular case, I'm going to posteriorize this and you can see the 6.5, I'm not taking any bone from the anterior aspect of this tunnel. This is purely reaming posterior. So I'm going to posteriorize, so to speak, the tunnel from the 4.5 to the 6.5 reamer. And again, I need to see the numbers for my fixation device. I need about 32, 33, and so I'm going to stop right about there. So the next step is to remove the guide pin and check. I think this is very important. Uh, you're not going to be a C as well uh, in the flex position. Uh, so I really want to get a shaver in there. I want to, I'm going to clear this out of any debris and I want to check my posterior wall. I want to recheck the placement of my tunnel and really be clear that I've got this thing exactly where I want it to be. Uh, in this particular case, I'm going to ream up to a 9.5 because of the size of our graft. So I have a 6.5 tunnel. I'm going to ream additional 9.5. So there's approximately uh, another millimeter and a half in the front, a millimeter and a half in the back. And I need to decide, do I want to bring this tunnel more posterior? Do I need to bring this tunnel a little bit more anterior? Or am I happy with where it is with the size reamer that's coming next? And I think in this particular case, when we enter with the guide pin again, I like the poster wall. I think I can take another millimeter and a half off of the poster wall and be just about right. So I'm going to centralize. I'm not going to bring it anterior in, in this case. I'm not going to bring it posterior. I'm going to bring it right in the center so I can symmetrically ream the tunnel in this particular case.
So the 9.5 reamer is obviously bigger, it's harder to see, uh, but I'm clear on where my tunnel is, I'm clear on where I'm taking the bone from. I don't need to see so much, I need to see the numbers obviously to get the depth right. And you'll be surprised how easy this is to over ream a 6.5 tunnel. Typically taking the beef pin, passing the sutures, and I'm gonna clean this out with the shaver again of all debris. And as you can see, I've got this tunnel exactly in the right spot. I've got it at about the 9.30 position, maybe 10 o'clock. Um, I brought it down in the anatomic position. I've got just the right amount of back wall. And this technique works every time. You don't have to worry about back wall blowout. I'm below Bloom and Stats line where the ACL lives. I'm right in front of Residence Ridge, right where that ACL lives. So I've got the perfect femoral tunnel. And with this technique, you can do that every time. Uh, I create a tibial tunnel referencing the PCL and references the anterior horn of that lateral meniscus. I'm not quite at either one. Uh, I don't. I use a PCL referencing guide, but I don't really reference the PCL anymore. Uh, it's just trying to get it right into the the, the old uh, ACL insertion. Here is a anterior tibialis allograft that I've utilized, and I use a hybrid type technique. I think aperture fixation is very important. As I pass that graft, you can see I've created essentially posterior lateral bundle below the, the, uh, the pin and an anterior medial, uh, poor, uh, anterior medial bundle above. So my fixation device, I like to use the MyTech Intrafix system, which is an aperture fixation device. But the screw doesn't necessarily touch the graft itself, so you don't have to worry about the graft winding up in the screw, getting damaged by any type of screw fixation. And again, part of my technique has always been aperture fixation. I think that's important. I think a lot of the biomechanical properties of the graft are optimized in that situation. Uh, properties such as creep and elongation are minimized. You don't get tunnel widening. Um, in this particular case, case, with this technique, there's a dilator followed by a sheath. Um, and once this sheath is impacted, and again, through the intermedial portal, you're using the same pathway, so there's no divergence of any fixation device. Uh, we use a little tissue protector to protect the graft. And then this is a peak screw that I like to use, similar biomechanical properties to bone. I don't like biabsorbable fixation devices for various reasons, uh, but this gets away from metal devices altogether. And again, you're not worried about winding the graft up. This sheath pushes one bundle inferiorly, like the posterior lateral bundle, it pushes one bundle anterior medially, um, and you get a nice aperture secure fixation without damage to the graft. On the tibial side, I like to do the same thing. Um, and again, using the probe, you can see anterior medial bundle, essentially posterior lateral bundle, at least as it's designed on the femoral side. You see up above the Stephen Howell V that's formed between the ACL and the PCL above when you get that ACL in the anatomic position. Uh, again, you can do your graft tensioning, you can do your posterior drawer at this point in time. I like to bring a guide pin up through the front of the graft where I can see it. I use a clamp to secure it. And then I can take uh, your fixation device of choice. I presently like to use the MyTech Milagro screw, uh, which again has a pitch of threads, which takes very easily. And again, it's a, a screw made out of peak material, uh, no biabsorbable type materials. Uh, so in summary, I feel that anter anatomic anterior medial portal drilling, progressive asymmetric drilling, and aperture fixation are important parts of ACL reconstruction.